Okay, so here we are back, you know, by the tree and we have taken some time to put some gifts together for you guys that we uh, really think that you will enjoy to help get you through the holiday season. Uh, for people with type one, type two, some of Steve and my like personal favorite kind of diabetes things. Anything you wanna say it's, about it? It's, it's our way of showing and giving some virtual gifts to all of you. Yeah. So. Um, as you can see, we have them prepared here. We painstakingly packaged these, so let's just get into it. So this first one here, it's a little Christmas tree. This is for type ones and type twos. Um, so I'm gonna put this bag down here. And, and what this is really, is some of our favorite low calorie drinks. And I'll give you an example just to start with. This is, you know, this is for you, Steve. This is my favorite. If you guys know anything about me, you know that I love Baja Blast Zero, which you can find at Taco Bell, which is all over the place. It has zero calories, I love it. You know, hey, wait a second. Yeah, it's a little drink. I just wanted to make sure it was good, some little quality control before we started, but give that a taste. So the point is that you can just like, you can take down a ton of calories with, with just drinking. You know, we always say that if you have diabetes, you can eat and drink anything you want, really except regular soda and juice. There's just too many calories and too much sugar in there. So finding something that you like to drink that's zero calorie is so important. So some other ones in here that you like, well, Steve. Let's just say real quickly that if you're gonna go to Taco Bell, you know, you may not go there all the time, but you pick the best foods you can have, but save some calories on the drink. Yeah. I usually get one with ice and one with no ice to drink one immediately and then save one. So what about this? What is this? Ah, uh, gosh, this is my all time favorite. Coco Bye. It's 10 calories for the entire bottle. It, it has the most awesome flavor. It's not coconut water. It's just a great coconut flavor. You can drink it straight up. You can put it on ice and you can actually make a very low calorie uh, pina colada with it. Yeah, so you know, people always say, gosh, I, I hate diet drinks. And I would have said that like a few years back, but now there's, there's, there's something for kind of everybody. These taste like oh. really, really good. Now, what about, Steve and I love yeah. diet root beer. It's one of the better tasting diet drinks. Actually like Coke Zero also is a really good kind of low calorie drink. We love diet cream soda, but it's impossible to find right yeah. now for some reason. So if you're one of these people that doesn't like diet soda, try diet root beer, try diet cream soda, because I think they taste the most kind of spot on. Yeah, I did an Edelman report on all the great diet drinks. So you can hear about that in general. And we'll talk about the video of all plenty during the day, but diet cream soda is to die for. And, uh, <laughs> but diet root beer you can get, it's the one drink I convert all the folks out there that say, I hate the taste of diet. Yeah, and so. Steve loves drinks on ice. So was it last Christmas? Oh. I gave you a Yeti cooler yeah. that he just keeps out like year long in our with, kitchen. with ice in it. And it's just so nice that there's always diet drinks and stuff in there. Mio, tell people about oh. that. You love that. Oh my that. gosh. You know, Mio is this non-caloric flavored liquid that you put into water. And it's so nice and easy to pick up from the store. They got about 15 flavors. It doesn't have carbonation. You can also get Mio with vitamins, but also with caffeine. And I really like this, you know, I've been diagnosed with reflux. So I've been trying to cut back on my carbonation and I just love this. You can take it to the airport. Uh, you can squirt it in a little water bottle. You can make your own pictures at home. Yeah, it's It's awesome. And the one thing I also talk about is if you want to, Cut your calories, you get some plain yogurt, no flavoring at all, and you squirt your favorite meal flavor and you mix it up, uh, and it's just awesome. It's that just is super good. Because, <laughs> you know, let's be honest, like a lot of people's New Year's resolutions after the holidays, everybody puts on weight during the holidays, so we're talking about ways of cutting calories. Um, you know, obviously, everybody knows that type 2 is associated with weight issues, but us type 1s, the majority of type ones now are either overweight or obese and starting with making sure that you're not hiding calories in what you're drinking is so important. So find something you like. I'm gonna get these over there and um, no, I'm gonna, but I'm gonna keep this right here just, just in case. All right, well, I might have some of it too. Oh, geez. Something else in my little TCOID <laughs> Something mug. else. All right, so that's to get us started. And then the next thing, like since it's here, Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have Steve look at this, but this is for anybody out there who's ever had a low blood sugar. And I'm sure if you have had, if you have diabetes, there's a very good chance that you get low. And you know, being hypoglycemic or having low blood sugars, it makes you anxious, it makes you hungry. And so it's always great to have things on hand that you like to eat, can reliably raise your blood sugar. So that's why we have here our low blood sugar dream kit with tips and tricks 
for Steve or from Steve. But anyways, <laughs> let's go through some of these. Yeah, yeah. Well, why don't we go through the single greatest tasting item? Yeah, so <laughs> what what is probably sticking out to you guys is this giant thing of peanut butter, which is probably the worst thing that you can eat when you're low. Because when, you, when you're low, you want some kind of rapid acting carbs, some juice, some sugar. Peanut butter is the opposite of that. However, it tastes delicious. And Steve and I just love um, peanut butter and crackers, especially when we're low. You know, when I get really desperate, it's just the finger or the spoon right in there and then just eat it. Um, you well, know, Ritz crackers, right? Ritz that, crackers are my favorite. That's Jeremy's deal. My peanut butter just has Ritz rakes all the way through it, so it's really good. Peanut butter and crackers, part of our dream low kit. Um, you gotta have glucose tabs. I always say I hate glucose tabs, which makes it the perfect thing to kind of stash everywhere because I won't eat them. I used to, when I first got type one, I'd have M&Ms and Skittles everywhere, but then I would just eat them. So now I have these because I can reliably, you know, I have them in my bag, my work, every, every place, and I don't just snack on them. I hate them, but that makes it kind of the perfect thing to keep around. Next are these awesome little packets of liquid called goo. You buy them at like cycling stores for athletes that may want to fuel up during the rides. But I have found that not only do they taste great, espresso love, chocolate outrage, it's exactly outrage. 100 calories. Okay. And I'll tell you what, I, I don't know what's in here, but... It's goo. It, <laughs> <laughs> it raises your blood sugar so quickly. Sometimes I'll take two because I feel like I need it. I, and I rebound high, so it's only 100 calories. The other little trick, I had guests over for dinner. I served ice cream for dessert, a scoop of vanilla ice cream. I put this pack in water, hot water on the sink. I tore off the top and I poured it over the ice cream and they absolutely loved it. <laughs> There's a peanut butter one too, Jeremy. That sounds good. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing when you get low is, yeah, you want to bring your blood sugars up, but you don't want to overdo it. So yeah. you got to find something. And I, I like these contain things like you said if you just eat one of these you know you're good so you don't have to kind of keep yeah. rummaging through the fridge exactly 100 calories so the other things that we got in here are these apple juices and steve and i love these and to put these in the box we actually just went to steve's bed stand because he had these two there yeah. and both steve and i sleep with apple juice by our bed again we like to get these smaller ones um, because the whole thing here is 28 grams of sugar so if you drink this, you know, you should be good. You don't have to go out and get out of bed, eat the whole fridge. Because again, if you get out of bed, you're going to eat everything in sight, no matter what you do. We, we usually talk about the Martinelli uh, apple juice that you can get at Costco and crates or a lot of stores, Target. And I find that that container is bigger. Too much. And I, I rebound high. But, you know... Nothing better than Martinelli's apple <laughs> <laughs> um, Then I got just kind of the usual, if you want to have some candies around, Kit Kats, M&Ms. Again, we didn't have to go out and buy these. Steve had these, you know, like in his room back there. Leftover from um, Halloween. You know, but like, again, my problem with these is that I'll tend to eat these. I've got string cheese in here. Again, I just like cheese when I get low. It's not a good thing to eat, but I just love cheese. I just pour the goo over the cheese. <laughs> It's really pretty good. <laughs> and then we got to talk about, you know, emergency situations. Yeah. When your blood sugars are really low, you need glucagon. We've done multiple videos on, on new glucagon formulations now. Long story short, you should get a new prescription for glucagon because there's different versions of it. There's this intranasal form where you can just take it out. And actually, if you're having a seizure, a bad low, squirt it in your nose. You don't have to mix it, anything like that. There's two auto injectors now. Again, you don't have to mix it. Um, you don't even have to push a button. Just push it on somebody's skin and it'll give a dose of glucagon just like that. It's a doctor one. It's it's not the real one. No, that's the real one. I, I, <laughs> I tricked you. You, you know, it's, you know we, one thing I wanted to say is that, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a weird thought that you would give yourself glucagon. Typically, you're helping someone that is so out of it they can't swallow. But, you know, it's a possibility that if you gave yourself too much insulin and you're dropping so fast, you can't keep up with all the carbohydrate intake and you're worried about passing out, you can actually self-administer, which brings up the concept of mini-dose glucagon in the future. Yeah, so we're not there yet, but gosh, how nice would it be just to take like a little unit or two of glucagon. But yeah, real quick, um, the intranasal one's called Baxemi. Um, and then the, the injectors are Givoke or Zigolog. If you don't want to remember those names, just ask your provider, hey, can I get a new prescription yeah, for, it for you? Okay. All right, on to the next gift. Yes. So right here, we got, you know, the classic tin 
of Christmas cookies. And you might all be gasping and thinking, gosh, I mean, here's the thing about the holidays, right? Is that you can't escape this kind of stuff. It's everywhere. There's bowls of candy, of, of cookies, of fudge. And as somebody with diabetes, you might feel like everybody's watching you. Should I eat these? Am I allowed to have things with, you know, with this kind of sugar content? So, you know, we'll be talking that through the day. Um, we're gonna actually do a whole session on this. But the short answer is, of course, you can have everything in moderation. And if you're somebody who is on insulin, I got a secret little compartment down here. I really wanna eat one of these. Um, that has some of our, our kind of more rapid acting insulins now. So the problem or a problem with some of these like sweets is of course they jack your blood sugar up. And if you're on insulin, the insulin is just too slow. It doesn't act fast enough. So you always spike and then you gotta do a rage bowl. So first thing here we got, what is this, Steve? Oh man, this is, <laughs> this saves the day. <laughs> this is a Frezza, inhaled insulin. And these are little cartridges of insulin. And this is the insulin that really serves an unmet need in everybody who takes rapid acting insulin. Wrap it on, wrap it off. That was smooth. <laughs> Good thing you took your glucagon. So you're just bounce, <laughs> bouncing it out. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's one of these insulins that, uh, because it works so quickly, it helps blunt your blood sugar from going up. And because it gets out of your system quickly, you avoid delayed hypo and you get off the roller coaster or you just use it to correct. You know, how do you use it? Yeah, I, I think first of all, we've done a zillion videos on Afreza and the video vault for all kinds of information. Oh. But yeah, nothing brings down your blood sugar faster than Afreza or can really combat these high carb kind of meals. And you know, for you type twos out there, you might be saying, well, I don't really, I'm not so worried about how fast my insulin is working, but gosh, an inhaled option is really nice instead of having to do an injection. So a lot of people don't know about it. Ask your provider. We got a couple other rapid acting insulins here. Get ready for these names now. These are called Lumjev and Fiasp which are kind of traditional insulins, meaning that they're liquids. You can put them in pumps or use them as injections. They act a little bit faster than our current rapid acting insulin. So if you're currently taking Humalog or Novolog, you can ask your provider to switch over to one of these. Let me see if he has. Or um, the Afrezza. Yeah, now. Are you gonna do another injection? No, I was gonna tell you that. <laughs> do you know what FIAS stands for? Uh, I do, but you wanna tell them? Yeah, faster acting aspart. And the reason they call that, because that's where you're Supposed to take it. <laughs> <laughs> that was can, a good one. You can take it in any area of subcutaneous tissue. Which, which one did you eat? I just ate one of these guys. That's, yeah, I like the one with the toffee in the middle of these over here. But, okay. All right. Well, put your stuff back so okay. I can rebuild my gift. Yeah. So, so Christmas so cookies. What we're saying is you shouldn't deny yourself some of the sweets during the holidays. Just if you just learn how to control your blood sugar as best you can. And if you don't have any fast acting insulin at home, you know, even going for a brisk walk can help. Oh yeah, sure. totally. A little turkey trot. All right, <laughs> so what do I got next here? Well, let's do this one. This one's kind of fun. So here. Oh man, don't drop that. Yeah, this is a really kind of cool bottle of <gasps> tequila. For and some of you tequila experts out there, connoisseurs, this <laughs> is the bomb. Yeah, this is called Class A Azul. This is a really good kind of tequila. So again, why are we talking about this? So you might be thinking, oh my gosh, like alcohol. Um, we've done videos on this, obviously. The point here is that most people in the world drink alcohol and people with diabetes can have um, something to drink, obviously in moderation. So the question always comes up, what should I drink? What's the best thing with diabetes? Yeah. And we're gonna do a session on this later. We actually make some cocktails, but hard alcohol, if you know, as long as you don't mix it with something super sweet, is actually a good option for people with diabetes. If you can get something good, tequila, bourbon, whatever, I love this stuff. You know, one of our epic videos, besides <laughs> the donut challenge, the exercise challenge, the pizza challenge, is our day at the bar where we really made an educational, where what happens when you drink hard alcohol? What happens when you drink like a yeah. high caloric IPA? It's, um, it's fun to watch and it goes into the alcohol details in depth. Yeah, and this is actually pretty light because it's empty for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> hey. I found this in your bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's that. What about, um, this is a good one because okay. everybody needs this one right now. So. We've been very generous, and what we've gotten here is an all expenses paid Hawaiian paradise experience, one week trip, all expenses paid. So maybe you and I could go on this Hawaii trip, like whatever, but the point here is 
First of all, we all need a vacation, something to get away, a break from diabetes, wouldn't that be nice? But you know, what we did here is we thought about, you know, what are the things that come up on vacation, especially like if you do go somewhere tropical, um, I went to Hawaii, I don't know, kind of a while ago, and dealing with like pumps falling off and CGMs falling off, and how do you get in and out of the water? How do you travel with, with diabetes? So we got a couple things here to kind of help with that. What are these? Oh, geez, these are awesome. For anybody wearing a Dexcom, they have them for the Libre. Yeah, any CGM. It's an overlay that goes over your sensor when you put it on, and it prevents it from falling off before 10 days, or the Libre before two weeks, or the Omnipod before 80 hours. And these little things you know, are so helpful when you're in and out of the water, and everyone needs to get them. You can get them online. It's a great gift. Yeah, there's all different kinds of patches that you can wear. Like, cause there's nothing worse than having your CGM fall off, oh. especially when you put it on like in a day later, it falls off. You're like, great, now I'm gonna be short on my like refills, I'm gonna be out of CGM. It's really, really stressful. So there's all kinds of patches. You can just Google patches for CGMs, for pumps, all those types of things, because we need these things to stay on. Um, so there you go, those are for you. Well, thank you. And you know, along those lines, there's this Pod Pals too. Do you use these or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it covers the Omnipod, keeps it from falling off. Now, what about the opposite? I wanna get these things off. Do you wanna talk about what this is? Yeah, yeah. This is Mirabalm. It's a special solution that's gentle to the skin and helps you get off that residual tape that it's on your body when you pull off whatever you're on, whether it's a pump infusion line or a CGM. And you know what? I, I love this stuff because for years and years, I, have just, I just leave it there. I try to scrub it off with a washcloth. It just doesn't work. Mm. So it's kind of a, a simple little gift and for yourself that helps. And it's probably good for any kind of tape, even a, a Band-Aid that's been on there a long time. Yeah. All right, the other thing I got in here is these long-acting basal insulin. So if you're on basal insulin like Lantus, Levomir, et cetera, there's newer versions of this, Traceba and Tugeo. Why do I have this in the, the Hawaii getaway? Well, maybe you wanna come off your pump or maybe you wanna, you know, it's time to go on to a different basal insulin. These last longer, they're more reliable, less hypoglycemia than our typical uh, basal insulin. So just another great gift, if you will, to the diabetes world that we have these options. Yeah, you know, I think the bottom line is don't, when you go on vacation, don't leave your diabetes at home. Because you know, you'll, you know, the word, last thing you want on vacation is excessive highs, excessive lows. And so you can always prepare for vacation. I would say that chances are you probably will have some highs and lows. Be you know forgiving to yourself if you're on that's, vacation. That's true. Because you're eating things you haven't eaten, your schedule's off, you might be drinking more or less, or sleeping differently. So vacation's tough. But you got to be easy on yourself because who wants to beat yourself up about your diabetes while you're trying to relax? Yeah, in our video vault, we have an awesome video where we go through the TSA security line. <laughs> Jeremy takes off his clothes. You have to watch it to find out. And oh, we also right. give you ideas on how to pack your suitcase. Yeah, that was a good one. Very good. Yeah, I always forget all the, the great stuff we've done. So this one is actually pretty remarkable, okay? So this isn't a gift to, to everybody so much as a gift to Steve Edelman. So. When we kind of follow our blood sugars on our continuous glucose monitors, we look at our time and range, the time between a blood sugar of 70 and 180. And Steve and I have had this competition all year to see who can really kind of do better, if you will. And as much as this bothers me, Steve really won. Show, so show we have here the time and range champion 2021. This is the, the first year, the inaugural year that we, we've doled this out. I would have won the last 20 years, um, but we didn't <laughs> do it until this year. So it says Steve Adelman for demonstrating continued time and range excellence throughout the year, uh, signed by uh, some guy. So I'm, I'm, here you go, congratulations. I'm the founding <laughs> winner of this award. And you know what? Um, this looks like it came from your printer. That's weird. <laughs> Keeping your blood sugars. Yeah, how did you do it, Steve? That's the point. Well, first of all, I'm not perfect. And a lot of times I go through periods of very low time and range. I'm always trying to avoid a high amount of time below range, but 70 to 180. I'll just give you a couple quick tips that are on our website as well. And I, I have an article on our website and a little video that says, how to improve your time and range solely, S-O-L-E-L-Y by setting your alerts and alarms. Now, a lot of people may think this is crazy, but I put my upper limit during the day, my upper alert at 150. Because if I used to have it at 180, when you get to 180, you're already done. You're already out of range. So I say now I change my whole mindset. 
when it hits 150, I go, yes. I've seen him do it. It's kind of yeah, annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I changed the sound on my Dexcom so it's a more pleasant sound, not the eh, eh thing. And it's like a cha-ching. Yeah. Yeah. The cha-ching. Yeah. <laughs> and so I just look at the trend arrow straight across. I might not do anything. You know, diagonal up or up. I'm, I might consider give myself a little correction depending if I'm what I'm doing the next couple hours. And then same on the way down. Now at night, I don't know if you know this, but with your Dexcom, you can have a separate set of alerts at night. Now, because I'm on one of these hybrid closed loop systems, I'm looping, I hardly ever get low at night anymore. So I don't need to have, you know, my upper limit at 50. I put it at 200. And so, you know, one night, if it does creep up for eating late, it's not the end of the world. I don't disrupt my sleep. So that's just one little tip. And I think well, I think if I could just kind of summarize that as you... And you, you did it too. Yeah, as you always make fun of me for doing, recap, is that you're very proactive about your, your blood sugars. That, you know, instead of waiting for your blood sugars to go high and then taking insulin and then coming down and eating everything, getting on that roller coaster, let me intervene early so I can kind of have a smoother ride. Um, and for, you know, you type 2s out there on insulin, you can get a continuous glucose, continuous glucose monitor now. So it used to be, I don't know, 10 years ago, it was hard for type 1s to get it. Now we know it's the standard of care for type 1s, period. Type 2s, if you're on mealtime insulin, you can get it. And I think we're going to be using this more and more and more. And gosh, it just makes uh, diabetes so much easier. Yeah, and I, I want to say for all you type 2s not on insulin, you can get one free with the My Libre 2 free website. Dexcom has patient assistance programs. And I have seen folks with type 2 from my VA clinic, my university clinic, they have turned around things like you cannot believe because they're actually seeing the consequences of what they eat, how much they eat, what exercise does, being more adherent with the medication. So type 2 diabetes is tough. I don't care what you're on. But I do think in the future, I mark, stamp mark this video that uh, CGM will be the standard of care for any patient with type 2 from pre-diabetes all the way up to those on injections. Yeah, and I just want to say, you know, like, Obviously, this is, a, this is a marathon. Steve and I have plenty of highs and lows. We try to get our time and range up as much as possible. Um, and when we do that, we know that we're you know, being healthy, avoiding complications as best as we can. Um, but also, gosh, don't you just feel better mentally, physically, when your blood sugar's in range? You feel like you're winning the game. You're fighting back against diabetes. You, know? yeah. you can follow your own time and range on your phone app. Yeah. No matter what CGM you're using. And, you know, you don't have to brag to your friends unless it's really good. He does all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's kind of a competition with yourself, kind of like the little walker, the number of steps per day. You know, try to, you know, remember, your alerts and alarms are your friends, and they will help you stay in range. Yeah. All right. So the next gift, I got this pillow here, and you can tell it's a gift because it's got a bow on it. Um, so let me put that there. And the idea here with this pillow is really giving the gift of a good night's sleep, which is so important. And Steve kind of already alluded to this. Is this unique or what? Yeah. So we got in here some PJs, you know, Steve, that you can put these on. These are extra comfy for you. Hey, and these, in here... These aren't clean. Yeah, they're yours, man. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so um, what we got here is an example of one of these, what we call hybrid closed loop pumps. This is the tandem pump, the insulate version, the Omnipod version. It's supposed to come out any day now. It might actually be out by the time that this airs. Yeah. These pumps now can automate insulin delivery a little bit based on your, your blood sugars from your continuous glucose monitor. So Steve was talking about when his blood sugars start going down, the pump can automatically shut off. So both of us have much less highs and lows at night and are able to get a good night's sleep, which is so important. I didn't realize how poorly I slept before I was on one of these devices. I remember Jeremy's nightstand, his office, just half drinking bottles of Coke. You know what, then these hybrid closed loop systems, Jeremy's wearing the control IQ and it actually calculates if he needs his own auto bolus in addition to modulating the basal rate. So it's uh, the technology is just going to get better and better. And we still have to, you know, put in our carbs and give ourselves boluses for meals. But the future holds a totally artificial pancreas. Yep. Now, this is a really good gift. So I want you to, you know, realize the gravity of this. So right here, Steve. This says it is a gift for the cure to type 1 diabetes. Isn't that nice that we're just awesome. decided Awesome, I want that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is that you can't redeem that yet. Um, but the point here is that we're obviously working on this. There's actually 
more research going on this right now than I think ever before, and we're getting some wins in this area that it's very likely we'll have the first drug ever approved to potentially delay the onset of type 1 diabetes by a couple of years. Hopefully, probably in the new year, we'll see a lot of research going on into delaying the progression of type 1 diabetes once it kind of kicks in. Um, and then, of course, working on ways to replace beta cells to, to deliver insulin. Lots of different companies working on this. Yeah, what's going on in, in the type 2 world? You know what, type 2, the cause of type 2 is a very complicated issue, but what I can tell you is the therapies for type 2 are so tremendous, we're going to keep all of you folks extremely healthy until a cure comes along, but we'll talk about some of those. Yeah, so can't cash this in yet, so unfortunately... Hey, that's mine. Oh no, it's actually, it's mine. Um, Real quick, we got a TCOID grab bag. You know, this isn't, you know, it's not gonna help you get a good night's sleep or whatever. Well, maybe it will. We got some sweet stuff. I don't know, Eric, you can put the website down there. This is a little kind of like tote bag. We got our TCOID coffee mugs. We got our TCOID uh, tumblers. We got t-shirts. Education, motivation, empowerment. That's what it's all about. So, you know, we are very proud of what we're doing here at TCOID. So if you have a chance, check out the store or donate online, we would love that. Um, we also got a book from Chef Robert. Uh, he's going to be doing a whole session with us later on, you know, preparing a holiday meal. Because let's be honest, again, you know, how to eat with diabetes is so important. Everybody wants to know ways to kind of cut calories, cut carbs, etc. So we got his book. So we got one more gift, which is maybe it's one of the more important ones. It's the most profound gift. Um, and, but before we do that, we have some kind of messages from some friends. that want to talk about some of their, their best diabetes gifts. So enjoy. Happy holidays. Let's check out some awesome gifts from Black Diabetic Girl. First up, let's see what we have here. We have the Stand Up for Diabetes t-shirt. It is super comfortable, soft, cozy, and it's for any person with any type of diabetes, our caregivers, supporters, friends, family members, Whoever wants to wear this t-shirt can absolutely wear this statement t-shirt. It is a message, and we love things with messages. Also, let's see what's here. This is our You Got This mug. This is a reminder mug. I love things that give you a message, an affirmation, something reminding you that, hey, you got this. Now, what better way to drink out of when it's sitting on your desk or your nightstand, wherever, and you're having a bad day, diabetes is not doing what you want it to do, you can look at this and go, you got this. Thank you. Happy holidays. And we hope that you guys shop blackdiabeticgirl.com. Hello everyone, happy holidays. I'm so excited to share with you some awesome gift ideas for any loved ones in your life that are living with diabetes, all from our shop at Type One Together. So let's see what we got. We're gonna start off with our custom word bracelets. This one says type one on it. It can be used as a medical alert ID bracelet, um, or it can just be a simple name bracelet with whatever beaded colors that you'd like. And this is just a great way to spread awareness for diabetes as well as wear it in style. And then we have our Diabuddy stickers. This is our Diabetes Unicorn wearing a continuous glucose monitor and an insulin pump. This is our Diasaurus also wearing different versions of those devices. And it's just a great addition to a water bottle, a laptop case, a journal. Um, it really, you can stick it wherever you'd like, but a great way to just have fun with T1D and have something that um, looks like us. So I hope everyone has a very happy holiday season. And like I said, you can find these at typeonetogether.com. The best gifts at Christmas are those that are personal and reflect how much the giver knows about you. A gift from Type Wonderful can be just that special treat for the person with diabetes in your life. Wearing our apparel helps other people with diabetes like you connect and build community together while also empowering the wearer. With designs for all people with diabetes, no matter your type, you can find something special for yourself or your loved ones this season. Hi, Diabetes. I am featuring the Myabetic Brandy Diabetes Backpack. I love this backpack so much because it stores all my diabetes supplies, everyday essentials, and it even has an insulated compartment for my insulin. It's so trendy and a must have.
All right, that was awesome. Thanks so much to our friends for sending in those videos. We really enjoyed them. Now to our last gift, which as Steve said is, is the most profound. And you know, what we have here, Steve, is this is an invitation actually to your grandson's wedding. It says you've been invited to the wedding of Beth Blake and a Robert Edelman, July 9th at 5 p.m. 2042, so save the date. So why you know, are we doing this, this gift of you know, your, your grandson's wedding? The idea here is that it's the gift of a long and healthy life. And that's really the point of all of this, right? That everything that we're talking about is ways to keep you healthy so you live a long and healthy life. You know, in the olden days, diabetes was a death sentence. And many of you are probably pretty worried about not living a long and healthy life. But it's, this statement is so true. The way to live a long and healthy life is to get a chronic condition and then take care of it. Everything from the blood sugars to the cholesterol to the blood pressure and to make diabetes part of your lifestyle so you're not fighting it every inch of the way. And that's what we try to do here at TCOID. Yeah, and we say this pretty much every chance we get that there's evidence now that people with diabetes are living just as long, if not longer than people without diabetes. And I think a lot of that has to do because we're on top of our managing our disease, blood pressure, cholesterol, all these other things. We have new insulins, we have new medications, which specifically I wanted to talk about some of these new medications that are proving to do just that. Keep especially type twos living a, a longer life, avoiding kidney disease, avoiding heart disease. So first is the SGLT2 inhibitors. Do you want to talk about that? They yeah, are yours. SGLT2 inhibitors. You've seen the commercials. Barziga, Jardians. They've been shown to improve the health of your heart, but also recently to help people that have chronic kidney disease. So that's me and my doctor, even though I'm not a type 2 prescribed Farziga, originally approved for people with type 2, to help reduce the progression of kidney disease. And so this is so important to me. And uh, one, th one thing we're doing all the time now is sharing medications, us type ones and type twos. We're sharing devices, medications. Not literally, you don't give these to like. Uh, well, for a price. <laughs> <laughs> and then what about the GLP-1 yeah. receptor agonist, Ozembic Trulicity? Yeah, Algeria. so we, we've done, you know, again, talks on this. These are injectable drugs by and large. There's actually one pill version. Uh, this is called Ozempic, there's Trulicity. These tend to be once weekly injections that again, I've shown all these benefits. And additionally, both of these drugs can help people lose weight. Um, so weight loss, protecting your heart, protecting your kidney. Again, nobody wants to take medication. Nobody wants to wear an insulin pump or CGM, but we do these things so we can go to our grandson's wedding, you know, see these kind of life events, be around. It's so important and you can do it and you will do it. Um, if you manage this disease, take control of it. It's the whole mission here at TCOID. Well, I hope I get an invite as well for 2042. Robert so keep Edelman, me that means my daughter talked her husband into keeping the last family name. I like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. We're on to our next thing. I've really enjoyed doing this, this gift section with you guys. I actually want some of these gifts pretty badly. So thanks for doing this with me. You know what? It's awesome. All, All right, buddy. I love you. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> That's a great hug. <laughs>